Hey gardeners, thank you so much for watching. Today is an elephant ear update. Right now you are seeing one of the magnums. You can see it's got some yellow leaves. I'll just cut those off, no big deal. We've had some crazy weather recently, so I'm not surprised that I'm seeing yellow leaves. It's really only that first plant that is showing yellowing leaves. These two are the magnum bulbs that I started indoors. I have one more magnum bulb that I'll show you here in a second. Right here is the third magnum bulb and it is doing so, so well. The only thing with this one though, and this is the only plant in my garden that is showing signs of spider mites. Um, spider mites are very common for elephant ear type plants. What I do to treat them, I will hose off the leaves just about every other day. And then I will use like a, a miticide or, you know, some kind of spray that also like that a lot of the sprays will kill a lot of different pests but make sure that you have one specific to the pest that you are trying to kill so i got one that is specific to spider mites spider mites are so common on a lot of plants um just not every plant plant is just prone to it like elephant ears are and be careful with the elephant ears because the spider mites can spread they blow in the wind so they can spread to other plants so it's best once you see them to start treating them as you can see on the back of the leaf there's some discoloration there and then you can see all of those little um, spider mites right there it's pretty nasty but i'm used to you know treating plants for things so it's not really a big deal i just go ahead spray the plant down Follow the, following the directions and just move on. So yeah, that's what I use. Now over here, I have elephant ears. I have one in pots, in a pot, but the re two in pots actually, <laughs> but the rest are in ground. So you see the, the coloration of that leaf. That is likely some sort of deficiency. Um, it could just be normal, but I haven't seen um, very many leaves like that uh, while growing them. This is the first year that I am growing them in ground and I am not fertilizing my in ground elephant ears. So that could be, you know, a lack of nutrients um, in the soil. I just don't know. I will not be fertilizing these guys. Um, I just don't have the, the patience for it. I have a lot to fertilize already, but they all are looking really, really good. They're consistently putting out new leaf after new leaf after new leaf so i'm not concerned about them um i haven't seen any signs of spider mites on these guys back here they they really look good they really really look good to me so we've got a few that have that you know coloration on the leaves i'm not worried about it i really am not um if you guys start seeing yellowing leaves on your plants if it's the older leaves that is normal it's perfectly normal for the older leaves to yellow out um, and die back you can cut them off when you start seeing them turn yellow or you can just kind of let them yellow and then um you know wilt and then go ahead and cut it off at that point it's totally up to you um, and speaking of wilting if you just see your plants wilt that could be a sign of too much water that could be a sign of not enough water um, last year with my elephant ears they wilted a lot because they were thirsty they're in pots potted plants tend to dry out so much faster than plants in the soil so though my elephant ears last year, I was watering them very, very often, like mostly like every day, unless we had rain. So this leaf here was looking kind of funky. I didn't see any pests on it. So I'm thinking this might be part of that nutrient deficiency type of deal. I'm not going to treat it. If it was in a pot then maybe I then I probably would try to treat it for something but like I said before I'm not fertilizing these guys in ground we're just gonna see what happens this is a test year and this will tell me a lot too about my soil if anything can grow in it because this is the first year that I'm really planting a ton of stuff um, in this back area
But all in all, I'm really satisfied with all the elephant ears that I'm growing. Um, I only set out to really grow maybe like, you know, a few, but ended up starting so much more. So that leaf I would cut off. It's an older leaf. It looks like it's yellowing out. I would cut that guy off. Anyway, so I did not intend to really have an elephant ear jungle, but they all the bulbs just kind of started. So I threw them in some soil, and then some I thought that were dead. I threw them in the compost, and the, <laughs> and they started growing in the compost. So I just started planting them out in the landscape. I'm happy that I did. I'm really glad to have them. I love elephant ears. But I was really just trying to focus on the magnum ears this year. But the mammoth ears are showing out. So, I mean, they cannot be ignored. That's why I always tell people, get an elephant ear bulb. You will love it. And it will just add so much, like, whimsical joy to your garden. Especially when the wind picks up and those ears start swinging back and forth it's really really cute and people love them when we have had company over and they love to see the elephant ears all right guys i hope this video helps you some if you have questions feel free to reach out to me i am happy to troubleshoot any issues with you i'll see you guys in the next video